In Genesis, the Bible says it's not good for the man to be alone. And God created a helper for man, a wife. And so we see that God created us to be social, to interact with other people, not just to be all alone. One of the social aspects of life that's, that's a blessing and that's so important is the companionship of a husband or a wife. But another aspect that God's word spells out for us, portrays for us, is that of friendship. This morning I'm reading from Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. It says, iron sharpeneth iron. Now, this is just a, a reality of life. The iron of this file will sharpen the iron of this knife. And it'll put an edge on this and and it'll make it useful uh, until this knife has a, a good sharp edge on it. Well, it's, it's, it might be of some use, but it's not nearly as useful as it is when it's good and sharp. And it's the iron that sharpens it. You say, well, a lot of times we don't use a file on a knife. We use something else. Well, whatever you use, it's got to be harder than the steel of the knife or at least as hard. And the image that God is laying out for us is, is that you have these two things and they're able to sharpen one another, iron sharpening iron. Now, here's the comparison. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Friendship is so absolutely important in life and good friendship is essential. Why? Because good friends sharpen one another. Just like the, the file can put a nice sharp edge on a knife so a good friend can encourage. A good friend can challenge. A good friend can rebuke sometimes if necessary. You know, as you go through life, you get dull, just like this knife. If I take this knife and, and, and I really put it to some use, it's going to need touching up. It's going to need for me to stop and Take that file again and do some work on it. Well, we're the same way. And God puts good friends in our life for this very purpose. Iron sharpening iron. Good men encouraging one another. Now it says, it says that it uh, uh, sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. The Bible uses the word countenance to talk about the look on somebody's face but it also uses that to talk about the spirit of a man, the in, insides of a man, the, the thinking and the behavior and the actions. So in other words, the whole makeup of a man or his character. Your character needs the work of sharpening. All of us do. And so as we go through life, good friends good godly friends, other men who know Jesus, work. God uses us to, to sharpen one another, to keep us useful, to keep us from, from being dull. You know, a, a dull knife is one of the most dangerous things that you could ever use. A dull chainsaw, any kind of cutting instrument that gets dull. A chainsaw is going to kick back really bad. Uh, a, a knife that's dull, you're going to have to apply a whole lot more pressure to get it to, to, to do what you want it to do. But a sharp knife just slices right through whatever it is that we're working on. I just want to encourage you today. Not only do you need good and godly friends in your life, men who love Jesus. If you're a, a lady, you need ladies who love Jesus in your life. Why? Because they are going to encourage you. They are going to challenge you just by the way that they live their life. But you also need to be a good friend. Give good and godly counsel. Be a prayer warrior for your friends. Be an encouragement to your friends. And as we love on each other in this way, what we do is, is we sharpen each other. We keep each other sharp and ready for God's work. I hope you got some good friends, and I hope you are a good friend. God bless you. Have a great day.